Good morning from a sunny Seattle. The weather forecast said it was supposed to be cloudy, but I'm all for this blue sky. <laughs> so I wanted to just come out and read my book. Also, if I sound tired, it's tired. It's because uh, I'm still trying to wake up. The first cup of coffee is not gonna hit until like 10 more minutes later. But yeah, I tried reading like two pages, but I still can't help but be nervous. <laughs> for the first class, I haven't been a student. For like two years so yeah i don't know how it's gonna go i need to go early to pick up my student id so let's just go do that oh and before i forget let me just show you what i brought in my bag because they didn't really say what i need to bring so and it's a class from 10 to 1 p.m I'm expecting maybe it's just gonna be like an introduction, but I still wanna bring something because maybe I missed something, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna take this tote bag. This is gonna be a bag haul, I guess. <laughs> uh, yes, I got some turkey jerky because I don't know if I'll get hungry. So I got that. And this is the same bag that I actually take for my coffee dates. I bought a sketchbook. <laughs> I don't know, like uh, this is a sketchbook I do my paintings on, so. I just got it in case I need to note anything or sketch. I doubt we're gonna sketch anything. So bought some stuff to write with. Oh, I guess I have another, sorry for hitting you right there, but I got another sketchbook. It just kind of stayed in there. And then I got an umbrella and a phone stand to record, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record because it's my first class. So it'd be kind of weird if I just put out my phone to record stuff. So I'll try to sneak a couple shots, but as soon as I get comfortable, I'll be able to record more and you guys can see how it is like to take classes here. Um, I'm a new student here and I see we can't pick student ID today, so... We're, yeah, we're still trying to get the machine up. As you can maybe see, I'm a bit nervous during the whole going to class situation. Well, that's because the last class I took was two years ago and it was in engineering. And after recently quitting my corporate job, I realized that I now had the time to do things I've been wanting to do for so long, which is to go to an art school. Well, I don't have the prep work to actually apply for an art school, but I wanted to try taking some art classes to see how I feel. So I enroll in a drawing class at my local university, and if I like it, I'll take a painting class too. Again, part of your creative process, you can use your old sketchbook, find any sketchbook in any size. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with my first class. Sorry for the angle, I don't want to like be obvious with the recording. But yeah, it was fun! I mean, he basically just talked about what's coming up and then the class actually ended early. So I'm excited for Thursday and we're gonna have like open studios and everything. So I get to like sketch inside. I was nervous because this is gonna be the first time I'll be like sketching with other people. So. Yeah, he said we can bring friends and your dogs. I don't have a dog, but I could bring my partner, maybe. <laughs> ah, it feels weird, but I'm also enjoying the weather because look at the sky. I just got home and a new frame came in. I ordered the wrong size earlier for this painting. I had 
from Valerie Lynn. So we're just gonna try to put them in right now because I can't wait. Look at this weather, it's like clouds within clouds within clouds. <laughs> Good morning from another gloomy Seattle. <laughs> I just woke up so I'm trying to like wake up more with my coffee but yeah today's my second day of classes. I think today is just gonna be a lecture and then starting next week is when we're gonna have like our first assignment so I'm excited for it. Uh, the teacher said that we're gonna have open studio days so I can just go in and draw whenever I want. So I'll definitely bring you guys along. But before I head to class, I need to eat because last time I got really hungry. So let me make some eggs. I totally did not plan well for this weather. I am kind of cold. All right, so I pretty much find most of my art supplies online. There's one thing I couldn't find, so we're gonna go to Michael's and try to find it. Well, I didn't find what I came to look for, so I'll just go home. It's a cool sticker book. Like you can 
get stickers. Yes, that's the sticker I'll put on your on your stuff. This pair of eyes, you see it? All right, I know that the trip to Michael's wasn't successful, but we got some odd supplies. I know it would have been hard for me to find everything from the list I was given by the teacher in person. So I just went ahead and ordered something online. So let's see what we got. Wow. Okay, first up we have clips. <laughs> This is probably to hold the paper on the board so we can draw vertically. So he must think we need that. And we also got some charcoal, like charcoal sticks. I've used that before when I was in high school and those were really fun. So I'm excited to try them again. And then simple, we got eraser. Um, yeah, you just need a basic eraser. I bought one because all my previous eraser are like lost. Also, he told us to get a mechanical eraser. Never used that, so I'm excited to see how he's gonna make us use it. He also gave us specific pencils to get. So yeah, just got the general pencil and a charcoal pencil. So like, I think we basically just need like to get a variation of hard to soft pencil to make different kind of drawings and shadings. That's what I'm assuming. The more we go, the more we're gonna go for the class, I'm gonna know how we're gonna use everything. And yeah, I also got the Lumograph black pen. So it's between HB, 2B, 4B, all the way up to 8B and compressed charcoal. Ooh, and this one, I just bought the whole set. He gave us like the individual item to get, but I think when he gave us like this list on Blick, this was in there, so. And then I, <laughs> I'm also excited for a bag. I think it'd be cool for me just to walk on campus with my bag. This is giving me big flashback for when I used to take art in high school. I'll be always walking with a big <laughs> art bag. And I was happy I didn't have to do it anymore, but now somehow I'm excited to start doing it again. Oh, and we got a ruler. I just bought the ruler. He said we need it online. And finally, we got a newsprint. It looks like this and yeah, it's 18 inch by 24 and it just looks like thin grayish paper. And the teacher said that this is basically for you to do like all your practice sketches. And then when you're ready to do like your final work, then you use the good paper, which is from the Strathmore sketchbook. Let me show you. I already had gotten that one from Amazon this one so this is supposed to be for the good drawings he also told us to get a sketchbook like small to do like thumbnails because i think for every assignment we need like a couple of thumbnails and we're gonna be graded for like also our sketchbooks and the nice thing that he said is like sketchbook doesn't need to be perfect you can have like a lot of drawings a lot of notes and everything that's how sketchbook needs to be so yeah i was happy to hear about that I've had this clock for a while now and I got it from an antique store because it was so pretty. It has like a little fake fire going on. I'll show you later, but I don't know why I just never got around to putting it, even though I already had in my mind where it would fit here in my home library, but I just didn't do it. I kept pushing it. So today I'm gonna stop doing that and let's just do it. Just like that, I had told myself, even though I'm approaching my thirties, I should just pursue art. Stop thinking about the what if. If you've seen my previous videos, you know it was a calculated risk, but it's now or never. I realized that this might be an unconventional way, but I'm happy that I get to do this now. Others might say it's too late. Is it though? Who's to say I wasn't actually doing what I was supposed to do? Maybe I was meant to pursue engineering at first, so I don't carry the guilt or regret of not trying it out when my parents could support me. I'm not saying they wouldn't have otherwise, 
but look at me now. Because I chose engineering at first, I was able to get a bit more desirable skills for big tech companies. And yes, I wasn't too happy there, but I did learn a lot. And I'm not gonna lie, I was decently compensated, which allowed me to then quit and fund my next pursuit, which is art. I don't have to rely on my parents anymore now, I have no expectation from anyone to be good at something in school because I did it already. Maybe my toxic self wanted to prove I could do it and now I feel free. I want to do things, love it, hate it and change course if needed, but it's now all on my terms. And there's nothing better than this freedom, right? Sure, I do feel lost sometimes when I would wake up and think about where I'm at in life and ask myself, wait, what am I doing again? But I couldn't keep going on with my previous life. The urge to do something creative was too big to ignore. And I think the slight nervousness and anxiety is okay since this is my version of uncharted waters, but I wouldn't be able to build the map until I go through it all.